Hello YouTube. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to show a friend or two uh, what I got going on here. This is my Celestron uh, C8 Smith Cassegrain Telescope. I was uh, kind of tired of every time I'd touch the focus knob the uh, telescope would shake like I was having a massive earthquake. So uh, I kind of hit the internet and uh, researched and I can find the actual uh, bolt-in autofocuser I can get from a uh, website, jmi.com. Uh, it's about $200, uh, a little bit more than I wanted to spend. So I started hitting the uh, YouTube and the internet on uh, do-it-yourself uh, autofocusers and <clears throat> uh, seen a lot of them and uh, kind of just went with it and, and made my own. So let me show you what I got going on here. And uh, hold on a second, let me get this in get this in place here so you'll be able to see better uh, I found an autofocuser on Amazon uh, it's made by uh, Astromania it's the Astromania AccuFocus uh, autofocuser as you can see here um, you know not too bad the quality of it looks pretty nice and seems to work alright uh, it's not intended for a SCT type telescope, but I just kind of figured I'd kind of make it work. Uh, as you can see, uh, the bracket here was a lot wider than, as you can see, let me try to zoom in here. As you can see, the mount for the telescope itself has this like little groove in it. So as you can see here, this was a lot wider than that was. So uh, it's kind of roughed up right now. I'm going to take that off and paint it, but it was a lot wider so I did this on a bench grinder and I just ground that down so it would fit in there really nice uh, so I slotted that slotted that hole in the center to, uh, to give me some adjustment for up and down height adjustment a uh, couple of o-rings found out in the garage and uh, I don't know I mean it's it's definitely mounted nice and tight and and looks pretty good this is the hand controller that came with it uh, you can adjust the the speed of the motor slow to fast and you know one way or the other in or out and uh, here let me see if I can't can't get this to show you nice and how smooth I mean it actually works pretty good so I mean it's nice this is this is on the fast setting so and this is the other way and I mean I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick it up but on the slowest setting as you can see, yeah, I guess it picks it up pretty good. Uh, nice and smooth operation. Um, I haven't tested it out in the field. I just got it done. So I think it's going to probably work out pretty good. I can't really foresee any major issues. Uh, being able to adjust focus without having to actually touch the scope is, it's going to be a win-win situation no matter which way you look at it. So, uh like, I, again, I mean, it runs on a single 9-volt battery. Um, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Uh, like I say, I got it on Amazon for about $75. Bucks. Um, yeah, it works out pretty good, hopefully. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, leave them in the comments. And if I can help you out, I'll definitely uh, be glad to try and help you out. So thanks for watching.